In this video, you'll find out why the full moon in Virgo is helping you connect to your inner knowing. What's up, Divine Tribe, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Gia. I teach meditation, I channel cosmic insights from the universe, and I'm a sound healer using my voice. And today I have my Koshi chimes with me, so after we meditate, I'll offer you guys some sound healing. Now today we are meditating on the full moon in Virgo, which is happening on Saturday, February 27th, 2021. This full moon is finally providing us with a sense of release and relief after a very intense month as we had the new moon in Aquarius with the stellium in Aquarius, where there was so much Aquarian energy. It helped us break through and receive new downloads, but it was also pretty overwhelming. So now that we have the full moon in Virgo and the sun in Pisces, we're experiencing a moment to let go and tap back into a sense of peace within. So Virgo is an earth sign and it has to do with the body, with health, with being really grounded and also really focused on the details, being really connected to your inner guidance and your inner realm. Now the sun is in Pisces, which is a water sign. So of course it's emotional, but it's also very ethereal, very tapped into spirit. Pisces is the final sign of the zodiac. So it does represent passing on to a new realm, connecting to spirit and letting go of the old and saying goodbye. So as we're balancing the sun in Pisces with the moon in Virgo at the time of this full moon, it's really powerful to allow ourselves to ground into our bodies and release whatever isn't serving us. As you guys know, I'm not an astrologer, I'm an intuitive and a channel. And so I always bring to you in these videos what I'm intuiting from the universe. And you may have seen on my Instagram, which is at Divinely Gia, I recently posted a video about how to hear your guidance when you have a lot of fear in your mind. People often ask me, what's the difference between fear and intuition and how do I know which one I'm hearing? And my response is, your mind is thinking, but your body and your heart are knowing. So oftentimes we experience a lot of fear and doubt and rumination in our minds, but in our bodies, we have a sense of calling, a sense of knowing. And it's as if we are pulled forward on our paths energetically through the heart and through the body, like there's magnets pulling us to our next destination, our next experience, our next connection, our next assignment. And so I encouraged you guys in this video, and I still do, to notice when your mind is thinking and overthinking and remember that your heart is knowing. Your heart knows where your calling is taking you next. Your heart feels that magnetic pull to your next adventure. And it might not be comfortable for your mind. It might be scary. It might be very uncertain and very unknown. And it's okay to let that fear be there while still following the path of our knowing and following the calling in our hearts and in our bodies. So because this full moon is in Virgo, which has very much to do with tapping into our bodies, and the sun is in Pisces, which is connecting us to spirit, this is a really powerful time to practice releasing your mental patterns and your need to have answers and to have plans and to try to settle into the knowing and the calling and the magnetic pull that's already happening in your body and it's been happening your whole life. It's not something you even need to cultivate because it is how you've been functioning as a soul in this body the whole journey. It's just that your mind has had a running dialogue of doubt about the whole thing, <laughs> but you've already been called magnetically to every experience you've encountered. So just keep trusting that. Keep diving deep into that inner knowing and as much as you can, try to soften your thoughts instead of taking your fears so seriously and wondering if that's guidance try to have a little more fun in your mind and make it sort of a game and see, well, if I shift my perspective here, could I be more creative? Could I see this in a new way? Could I try to have more fun with this by taking it more lightly? These are skills of the mind that can help us 
cooperate and co-create with the knowing and the guidance that's already happening in the heart and body that we're already called to. And we've been acting on that calling since we were born into these bodies. And now it's really time to trust that knowing. One reason why it's challenging for a lot of us to dive into the body and feel that knowing is because that would require us to sit with whatever is there. And a lot of times there's pain in the body. There are emotions in the body. There are feelings we've maybe been avoiding in the body. And so for a lot of us, it's easier to stay in the realm of thought where we think we can control things and the ego has a grip on things and we can sort of ignore and avoid the feeling sense happening in our bodies. Because look, when we tap into the body, that's when we know if it's really time to move on from something that we've been avoiding. That's when it's real, <laughs> the calling is real, that maybe it's time to let something go. And if you don't feel ready, then it makes sense that you would avoid being in the body and stay in your mind so that you don't have to come to terms with the realness of what's meant to happen next. But it's time, you guys, <laughs> with the Aquarius new moon two weeks ago, we really broke through into a new reality. And so here with the full moon in Virgo, it's time to let that sink in. Let the new calling be real. Let yourself make changes right now. And if there are painful feelings in the body, if there are emotions in the body that need to be felt, it's not wrong. All we have to do is be with it. It doesn't mean you did anything wrong just because there's discomfort happening in your body. In fact, it's perfect. It's right on time. It's a part of your process. It could be that whatever you're experiencing physically is a part of the energetic shift taking place for you as mind, body, and spirit all align with this new mission, this new adventure. So if you have the tendency to block out the body and your feelings and any pain that's going on, whether physically, emotionally, or energetically, this full moon is asking you to release resistance and be brave enough to sit with your body, sit with that knowing, sit with that calling so that you can take action upon it. I have seen in my immediate circle of friends and clients, there have been relationships that have ended recently because that calling has been made apparent. That magnetic pull has shifted to another direction. So sometimes these challenges, these changes are hard, right? I mean, it's hard to leave a relationship. It's scary to quit a job. It's scary to try something new, but that's all in the mind. Remember to have more fun with it. Remember to be creative and see the possible good coming from it. And then lean into that trust, that knowing of your body and your heart, you're going to be called to where you're meant to go no matter what. And so it's time to let spirit take you there. So I hope that's helpful for you around what you're going through during this full moon in Virgo. And I am so excited to see all of us showing up even more for our soul paths, following our instincts, following our callings, because we are helping to shift the world as we know it. So guys, before we meditate, I want to thank my newest patrons on Patreon, Helena Skogland and Stephanie Camilleri. Yay! Thank you to both of you so much for supporting my YouTube channel. If you also love my content and want to support this channel, you can make a donation through Patreon. Just go to patreon.com forward slash divinely Gia. This is a monthly donation in the amount of your choice, but in exchange, you get rewards from me, such as a shout out in my next video. You get exclusive content, you get programs and products I've created as well as a free ticket to my monthly live stream sound healing every month. So if you want all those rewards and you want to support my channel, you can donate through Patreon at patreon.com forward slash divinely Gia. And I love you guys so much. Thank you for your support. Okay, my friends, it's time to draw Oracle cards for our full moon in Virgo meditation. And we're working with the unicorns today, a deck that I love and I know very well. And so let's see what the unicorns have for us today around the full moon in Virgo. I invite you to close your eyes if you'd like. Tuning into the frequencies of spirit that are present for us right now. Angels, guides, universe, 
spirit higher self we ask you to flow through these unicorn cards today guiding us with wisdom and grace for the full moon in virgo and so it is our first card is prosperity a gift of money is on its way your income is increasing manage your finances with love well that's always good news you know a reminder of our abundance a reminder of the fact that we'll have what we need the moment we need it um, we don't have to go seeking because abundance is a state of receiving so just trust remember you'll have everything you need on this journey forward our second card Ooh, they're sticking together is past lives release your past life karma you are an old soul with deep wisdom healing your past lives will raise your vibration i love that card because as i said we are really clearing the path clearing out the old patterns and the old identities as this aquarius age has shifted us into a new calling and a new path we have to be willing to let go of the old we have to be willing to say goodbye and full moons are a really, really powerful time to do that. It's a time of release. It's a time of letting go. So just know that any patterns coming up for you or anything you're feeling in your body could be linked to releasing past life karma. And you don't have to understand it in order to be with it and process it. So just trust yourself and your body. Trust spirit. It's all happening on your behalf. Our third card today is polarity integrate your shadow side there can be no light without dark understand the law of polarity powerful and i feel that this is a reminder to not fear the dark to not fear our pain to not make our pain wrong but to see the value in both the shadow and the light because it's a spectrum and so we gain the most wisdom by being open to seeing in the dark and to seeing what's there by bringing light into dark with compassion and with grace we get to reveal all the wisdom and the hidden messages that spirit has for us so as we meditate today and go into our bodies it's really important to welcome whatever is there whether shadow or light because it's there for a reason. It's on purpose. You're not wrong. You're doing it right by being with yourself and just being open to whatever you feel. You're letting the process unfold with grace and really trusting spirit that you're being guided through the whole journey. So we have prosperity, past lives and polarity, all P's, which is really interesting. So let's go ahead and meditate with that wisdom in mind. You can find a comfortable seat, maybe planting your feet if you're sitting in a chair or sitting cross-legged if that works for your body. And just close your eyes when you're ready. Let's take a moment to really slow down. When we were in Aquarius season, an air sign, it's normal if you felt frenzied or a little overwhelmed, a little bit chaotic in your mind because of all that air energy. But now we're flowing into watery Pisces season. The full moon is in earthy Virgo. So it's time to slow down, get quiet and tune in. Just being willing to sit with stillness long enough to notice what's here. Not always needing to do, not always needing to accomplish, but being willing to pause, to feel the spaciousness around you, to trust the stillness, to allow yourself to show up as you are. Notice if your mind is distracted today or running off on tangents of thought. Let's call our attention back to our bodies, feeling our feet on the earth, our hips in our seats, 
Feeling our hands resting on our thighs. Feeling the warmth in the body. Feeling the coolness. Feeling any tingles, any movement. Feeling any tension or tightness. Feeling any expansion or lightness. Not needing to change what we find, but being willing to sit presently with what is here. And notice whenever your mind tries to analyze or tries to distract you, just notice that your thoughts have trailed off and gently call your attention and your focus back into the body, back into this grounded presence, feeling gravity really melting you into your seat and letting that heaviness help you feel supported, help you feel stable and solid. And just observe if there is pain today, physical pain, emotional pain, spiritual pain, without judgment. Let it be. Let it be seen, let it be felt. Trust that it's here for a beautiful reason and you are not wrong. This is right. And if there's not pain, notice any pleasure. Notice any energy, any waves of movement. And ask your heart today, what is my knowing? I'm letting go of my mind's thinking and I'm settling into my heart's knowing. Sometimes that knowing in the heart instructs us to take action. And sometimes that knowing in the heart instructs us to be still and patient. Sometimes the heart's guidance is just to find grace and love in the moment while we wait for more details of the journey to unfold. See if you can surrender your mind's desire to have answers and plans and rest instead in the feeling of ease and trust that resides in your heart. For each of us, there will be a different calling, a different pull, a different magnet, a different knowing in the heart. So let go of the need to be validated by others for your inner knowing. Consult with your spirit, your higher self instead knowing that you can trust what's in your heart, even if no one else sees it yet. This is your compass. This is your guide. So it's crucial that you trust what you feel and what you know. For the next few moments, be with the knowing in your heart, in your body. Be with the feelings that want to be felt. And trust any callings that are here for you today. Trust where your magnets are pulling you and see if there's any action you're meant to take today toward your heart's calling as you listen to my chimes.
Take a nice deep breath into your beautiful heart, your beautiful body. Exhale, letting go with this full moon, shedding the past. Join palms together in front of the heart, trusting, acknowledging all the signs, all the synchronicities guiding you forward, knowing your magnetic pull and trusting that, following the calling bringing your mind on board to have more fun and get more creative. The light within me sees and honors and bows to the light within all of you. Together we are one. Namaste. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this meditation today for the full moon in Virgo. I'm feeling a lot more grounded and centered in my body and willing to just sit still instead of having to push forward all the time. My cue today is to rest and to be still. So trust whatever came through for you. And if you enjoyed the meditation, like this video, write me a comment below. I love to hear from you guys and definitely subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also follow me on Instagram at divinelygia. And if you love the sound healing, then get excited because coming up in March, we're going to have another live stream sound healing event. It's called Music of the Angels. I'll send you guys the link in our next video. But remember that if you are my patron through Patreon, you get to come to the sound healing for free every single month. It's super easy. I just send you the link right there on Patreon to the sound healing event. So if you love my content and want to support this channel, as well as getting free access to my rewards and my sound healing event, you can donate at patreon.com forward slash divinely Gia. Thank you guys so much for your love and support. I'm wishing you a lot of healing energy for this full moon in Virgo, and we'll talk very soon.